All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Terroir, and my phone is making lots of noise. Um, now, I need to... These things are already getting overly ripened. They're already overly... I, I, there's no foliage. I, I don't know what to do when there's no foliage. I can't trim anything back. That's the only options I have, right? Yeah, shears to cut the vine's leaves. These, th these wines are going to be terrible. They're all over exposed to the sun because they're not getting any, uh, they're not getting any foliage grown on them. They've had zero foliage. Come on, man. There we go. A little bit of foliage. I need to get that super layer of foliage to actually drop that ripeness down now. That's what I really need. They've both been overexposed to the sun. My yields are at 0.8. It's going to be really bad yields, which... Uh, low yields are... I'm okay with. Don't. No, no, no. I'm not going to... I can't. Is that a spaceship? Interesting. I need these things to not be at this ridiculous amount of ripeness here. There we go. Give me one more of those. There we go. We're back down to nine. Keep in mind I'm at November. Oh, pause. Eight. Where am I at in November? I think I have to. I'm afraid if I let it go out any farther, it's going to, uh, there we go. It's going to, it's not going to drop down to seven, but that's what I needed. I really needed that to come, come down. So I just got both of these. Holy Lord. These look terrible. Absolutely terrible. Uh, let's check the Chardonnay. I'm done. Do I even want? Do I even care about crushing these things? I can't do anything about the body, huh? Let's see if I can fix this. We're gonna crush. These ones, one or more varieties doesn't have a crushing method selected. Oops, you gotta select them both. Okay, there we go. It's the only crushing methods I have. This is gonna take some uh, some play in here to get this right. Let's see. So fermentation process decreases the sweetness by one for every two weeks. So I want to take this down six, seven. Eight weeks. I'm gonna take both. I'm gonna leave these both to ferment for eight weeks. Actually, let's do this one at six weeks. So my Chardonnay's at six weeks, and my Cab's at eight weeks. So I gotta speed up the time here. Yeah, I'm seeing if I can save this crop, even though uh, I have zero money. I I have negative zero money. That means uh, I'm going to have to take out a bank loan because I'm not going to be able to do this. So here we go. My acid For every 10% uh, of compressed juice, compressed juice, your acidity increases by one. So I really need my acidity to go up to a level of like nine so that I can drop those tannins down to a reasonable level. So I need to add 80%. I think I'm going to add 80% to both of these. Oh, it's green! That's insane. I just... Okay, so now my tannins... Aging softens wines, tannins. Uh, if I put them in a barrel for acid by one and tannins by two for every month. So I want two months on both of these things for a common French oak, common French oak. So it's going to be in April. And the thing is, I'm going to have to take out a bank loan because I'm not going to be able to uh, to harvest these things or uh, to bottle them. I'm not going to have any money to do that with. So this is like really dangerous game here. Um, standard interest rate is 7%. Minimum is 3000 I'm going to take out a $10,000 loan. Replayment plan over five years. Uh, 
Uh, will that be enough to actually get these to the market? I guess is the question. I need to look at this because I, I didn't know what it was. One month old. So it does look like I'm able to somewhat save this thing. I'll let it sit for another month. So April. So now let's go to my basement. And now they're both two months old. They actually look decent again. So let's bottle my caps of. Uh, total cost of bottling is only $720 because I don't have that many. It doesn't tell me how many I got, does it? Let's just do a screw cap on this one. Um, we're going to call this the Jeff's First Super Ripe Cab. And then we're going to bottle this one as well. I'll put this in a white wine bottle. Nah, that one. In this bottle. Uh, super ripe. We'll call it the super ripe Chardonnay. And um, I might as well cork it just for fun. So now my bottles. Now I can organize a tasting here. Contrary to popular belief, it doesn't taste like dirt. Earthly flavors grant plus 10% to your wine's price. How did I get... What did I do to get that in there? I'm not really 100% certain. Do I go with the really high society? Oh, I got a couple high society guys. I'm going to go with... This guy liked my wine before, so let's let him taste it. We'll go with these guys. Um, not terrible. I'm kind of impressed. Yeah, it's great. I mean, they're all caps off. Uh, well, I think it's great. So that's decent. And how is this one? Let's invite the other high society person and these first two low society people. So not okay. I saved this wine. It's not a five star wine. But hey, both of these are good wines. So I'm going to sell only 240 bottles. It's terrible. It's terrible. But we're going to sell you... Um, 100, 140, and then, oh wow, I reached level, as long as your distributor uh, relations are at 5, all worker actions except clear forest and plant forest are free. Where's clear forest, what, what worker actions do I have? I'm not actually sure. Uh, so let's sell this one as well now, and it's again 240. So, yeah, my quantity was really terrible. Oh, I can't even sell to these guys right now. Okay. Manhattan Wines will buy wines for 10% more. Oh, nice. As long as your distributor relations are five, you'll be able to sell 100% of your bottles to Hagong. So, why can't I sell my, my bottles to Hagong? So, he'll buy all of them, which is nice. Um, now, unfortunately, i got to wait for those to sell before I can do anything with them. So these things are going... Oh, I need to definitely trim these, though. Because I need... Like, is, is that not trimming of these? Maybe the white wines are different looking on the grape. There we go. Now I can trim it. Yeah, because I need this ripeness to go up. Actually, I need to... Get those going here. Yeah, my ripeness needs to increase here. What is this? Vine is suffering from fungal rot. Huh? Why are you suffering from fungal rot? They're both suffering from fungal rot. I don't know what to do about fungal rot. Fungal rot seems to be a terrible thing. I mean, I personally think fungal rot's a terrible thing. You guys aren't... You're not ripening at all. Oh, I keep picking up the campfire. That's what I keep doing here. Won't let me do anything there. So I would bet now they probably sold my bottles. Yeah, here we go. Now I can sell them. So now I have 240. So this one I'm going to do 40, 100, 100. Like that across the board. Why can't I sell these? Oh, they're still they are still waiting to sell. No? Oh no no, it's they're selling my wine now. I tried to hit the button twice and got myself confused. 
This ripeness needs to really go up here. The yield's 1.06, which doesn't seem to be very good. There we go. 1.46, but the fungal rot seems to be gone. So maybe you just trim it back when they're getting fungal rot. Yeah, that's what you do. I have a feeling these ones are actually going to be at uh, at perfect. I don't want to do it yet. I actually want them to be up one more if possible. So I'm going to hold off and see if I can get them to go up one more. So sometime September, October, November is my selling time frame. So now we're in October. Five. Perfect. It's exactly where I wanted my ripeness at. Oh my god, it looks beautiful. They're coming up excellent weather and canopy management. This year's grapes were exceptional. The wine gets plus one to its final rating. Its final rating is less than 3.5 stars. Nice. Both of them did. Aw, oh, that is awesome. Uh, so now, let's crush these guys. Whatever, you have to crush them both the exact same until I can afford enough money. Now, I think my loan... I don't know if my loan is like repaying itself or if I have to go repay it on my own. So this is going to be fermentation. Again, decreases the sweetness. I think my sweetness is good. So since I don't think these are messing with... Excuse me, uh, alcohol levels. I'm gonna keep. I want to keep that sweetness right where it's at. And I think I want to keep. I think my acidity and tannins are perfect as well. So I'm just gonna do nothing to either of these. We're gonna barrel them um, in the French oak barrel. I, I don't want to do it for long though because I don't want anything to decrease so I just want to go right there and then straight to my basement and bottle these things. Let's bottle it. Let me just bottle the one. This is the Cab Sauv again. Let's use a, a, a different style bottle just for fun. We're going to cork it. Uh, do I have enough money for that? Ooh. Ooh. No, I don't have enough money for that. I have to screw cap these things. Otherwise, I won't be able to bottle them both. The other one will sit there aging. And uh, I don't really want it to age. So, well, before I do that, let's go to the bottles. Let's organize the tasting. Let's get some hard critics in on this one. Because I think this one's good. I could be completely wrong, though. Four stars. Too bad it wasn't three and a half. You know what's funny? If it was three and a half stars... It would be four and a half stars. Maybe. It's at less than three and a half, so I really don't know. But that's that's decent. So that actually worked out well. So I want to go to, uh, I want to bottle this one as well. And uh, and I can't do the cork, can I know? Because it just costs too much. So, and this is a white. Is there only one white bottle? Let's do this stupid looking bottle. Just for fun. Um, so on this one now, let's organize my tasting. Let's bring those same people in. Five star Chardonnay, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, I didn't read it. Oh, I should have read it. Uh, so let's sell the five star Chardonnay first, actually, to... Um, let's kind of sell some of both of them. Let's do... Um, oh, they're still selling my other wine. Ugh. It's taking longer to sell than before because... Probably because it wasn't as good. So I've got to wait until they sell... Because one, they get that little open sign again before I can actually sell this wine. There we go. <laughs> that was... That took forever. Now let's do... Um, let's go to the market with... Am I on the right one? Yeah. I want to sell these. Now this guy will always buy... I got a five-star rating with him. He will always buy all of them. So what I can actually do... And this will be kind of interesting. Is I could do... Well, I... Yeah, whatever, I could do that. But I could do 400 here, 440 here of these wines. 
and then I can go back to my red and sell all of it to this guy. And so now I got all my wine gone. And now I need to look at my loan repayment as this thing moves on. Uh, come on, start selling that wine, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so what happens with my loan now? Are you sure this will cost a total of $10,495? I think it is paying it out every month, and I kind of rather it pay it out every month, actually, because then I can afford another loan at some point. Yeah, there we go. I'm up to 43000 So have they sold all of my wine now? Yeah, this guy's still selling some, but he'll be sold out soon because he had a lot. These guys only had 400 and something. He had 840 So unfortunately, it didn't help my distributor rating at all. So I guess what I need to look at is um, upgrading my chateau. <sighs> cost a hundred thousand. Renown cost fifty. Oh, I'm only at twelve. Total barrel storage two twenty. Total. Oh, maybe does it? Wait, is it require me to have a fifty, or does it bring me to a fifty? Age five, own tiles four, lifetime revenue one hundred nineteen thousand, lifetime five star wines three. Uh, what's my latest financial report? Oh, wow. Wine distributor sales, other income. What's my other income? Net income at 21641 Huh. I think I might have to wait until I get to... Uh... Stop moving the campfire. Actually, I probably shouldn't have trimmed it back all the way. Maybe unless I get the fungal rot. If I can get another round of good wine, buying some other loams might be extremely beneficial. Some different styles. So my Chardonnay, I wish I told you which one was, was which. Like, I know I planted my Chardonnay here, and I know I planted my uh, cab here. And granted, I can see that they're red wines, red grapes versus white grapes, because I can see red here, but... It would be nice if I'm suffering from fungal rot, my cab. So I trim, trim them back, trim, trim them back, trim them back, trim them back, trim them back, trim them back as much as you can trim. I'm seeing if that helped. It did not seem to help. Oh, uh, help the Chardonnay. I don't know why I helped the Chardonnay and not the other one. Ah, there they go. Okay, now. We want them to not continue to increase. Oh god. Come on, little man. Grow. Grow your little leaves. Grow um. Uh oh. That's gonna have to be that playing that perfecting game again. I don't like it. Oh god, overexposure. Are they going to grow? Come on, foliage. Foliage. I guess what I can do is I can... I can't fire. I can click on that and see what it is. Okay. This is terrible. I don't think they're going to grow either. Well, let's see how terrible... Yeah, they're not going to grow. Let's see how bad we can harvest. Oh, there's little people there. I didn't even notice that. So and again, we're sitting at that ridiculous amount of sweetness and no acidity. So we know what to do in this case because we've done it before. Now, the question is, does it work every time? And that's an answer I don't know. But we did well before with this fix. So let's see if we can do it again. So... Decreases sweetness by one. Um, so I want to go. Let's do them both for the show. So the last time it was the white was really good, right? So can I do a. 
Was the white really good or was it just okay? I don't actually remember. Uh, but they, I think I did six weeks for them. So it brought the sweetness down. Yeah, the thing is, that they're, they're different styles of wines, though. Maybe I'll, I'll switch them up. I'll do the Chardonnay for two months and the Cab Sauv for... Yeah, let's try that. Just to be a little bit different. Experimentation, you know. You gotta get something going on here. Waiting for the fermentation. Okay, so now let's press it. And I need to basically, for every 10% pressed juice, your acidity increases by one. So I need to get about 80% so that I can drop those tannins. Uh, yeah. And then we will age them for a long time in the French oak barrels until we reach exactly what I'm looking for. So I think it's going to be two months. So January. February. I'm just afraid that it's already been two months. No, it's only about one. Because I don't know when it count starts that month, like, start counter. There we go. March. Now it should be two months. And now both of these have pretty decent runs. I uh, can't believe it's not butter. Butter flavor grants plus 10% to your wine. Butter flavor? What did I do to get butter flavor? Okay, we're going to start with this wine because I really want to find out now. I'm going to bottle this. It's a white. We're going to cork it. We're going to go in this bottle. I'm going to go over here to my bottles. I'm going to organize a tasting of this guy. Oh, do I have all two-star people now? Four? I'm okay with that. I'm okay with a four-star rating. For having such a terrible, terrible season. We'll also cork this one. And we'll put it in this bottle. This one doesn't have any special special thing. Let's do these guys again. These high class people. I wonder if it actually does is it better to just use one star people? <gasps> oh. I'll drink anything and give it a good review as long as it's free, but even I have to admit this wine is pretty crap. The winemaker should consider a career change. Ouch! Ouch. Um Okay, now I'm curious. Does this sell? Will these guys buy it all to at least give me something back? The Krupp food people. That was terrible. Because I think if you try to sell those in the store, people won't actually buy them. And uh, they get a little, a little unhappy with you here. So let's do now... Who did I sell my white to last time? I sold you. I didn't sell you my white. So let's give you 400. You 200. I'm going to leave that top guy open for now. And it looks like I'm going to just keep selling to those people. So you don't have to wait and sell. So yeah, you don't have to wait and sell. You have no distributor relation. That's just a way to get some money back from a really crappy wine, it seems. But that was not a good uh, a good red, and I don't know why the white turned out so decent and the red turned out so terrible. Um, I'll have to try to do some research and find out what exactly it is about all this stuff that makes it all flow. Anyways, though, guys, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. It's kind of like relaxing, and it makes me think about wanting to drink wine um, because I love wine, and yeah. So I'm going to kind of, I want to kind of earn my way into getting the Chateau upgraded and getting some of these different plots of land. So hopefully in the next episode, we'll have some money to do that. Otherwise, I'll just have to take a loan out. Speaking of which, what's my loan at right now? Okay, so it is paying my loan as we go. So I don't need to really worry about doing anything. It'll probably just uh, save on some interest if I paid it now. But I'm just going to let it ride it out. All right, guys, though. Thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next episode of Terroir.